This clip is going to cover more if statements, in particular the if or scenario. So there's a number of variations of if statements, simple if statements, if and, and in this case we're dealing with if or. So when would you need an if or uh, if statement, version of the if statement? So the case here it says, column H currently empty is meant to store details about the Christmas bonus for scientists. And it says, assume that scientists who have no more than 400 leaving cert points or who attended college in LYIT or who have more than eight years experience should expect a Christmas bonus of 3,000 and anybody else should expect a Christmas bonus of 5,000. So what we want to do here is deal with a case where if you have no more than 400 points in your leaving cert or who went to LIT, LYIT, sorry, or who have uh, more than eight years experience will get 3,000 of a bonus and anybody else gets 5,000 of a bonus. So the, the uh, bonus value is going to be held here in column H, starting off at H12. And the three inputs we have for that decision are the college, the leaving cert, sorry, the leaving cert points first, the college second, and the year's experience is third. So we want Excel, we want to automate how Excel makes that decision. So instead of having to look, look manually at those three pieces of detail, the points, the college, and the year's experience, we're going to use an if statement in Excel, which will check if the individual meets any one of those three conditions. And if you meet any one of those three conditions, you get a Christmas bonus of 3,000. Otherwise, you get a Christmas bonus of 5,000. So in general terms, it's got the same structure as the other variations of the if statement, except that you involve if and or. So Again, we're going to just manually enter the if statement. I'll make the column a bit wider so it's all visible as it proceeds. So here we go. So we go to cell uh, H12 and we say equals if. And because it's an if or we need, we then need an open bracket and the or condition. And another open bracket. So what we can do now, if we wish, is close off both brackets. Okay. In most applications, when you're entering, when you're using brackets, as soon as you type the open bracket, you're as well off to type the closed bracket immediately. So it's if or, and then we have to put our build our uh, conditions and our actions in here. So we're looking at the uh, first of all the points. So we click on cell D12 for this first individual. So if D12, who have no more than 400 points, that means if it's less than or equal to 400 points, and then a comma to start the next condition, and the word R, as I said, applies to everything inside those uh, two brackets, uh, R who attend to college in LYIT. So it means if it's E12 equals LYIT. And because LYIT is text, it needs to be enclosed in double quotes. So into the double quotes, I'll put LYIT. And the third element or third component that needs to be considered is your year's experience. So that's for this first case, it's G12. And it says, or who have more than eight years experience. So it'll be greater than eight. So now we're finished with the conditions. We're finished with the three conditions that any one of which you meet will g give you the uh, qualify you for what happens when it's true. So next we have a comma out of the bracket. So we now start on what we do when any one of those conditions is fulfilled, followed by what we, what we do if none of them are fulfilled. So if the conditions, if you meet any one of the three conditions, you qualify for the 3000, which is held in cell H8. Alternatively, you qualify for the 5,000, which is in H9. So what I've, I've written this formula without any uh, mention of absolute cell addresses or relative cell addresses. So I'm just going to take the default here for a moment and then try and fill down. So the first candidate here uh, has three, three, nine, seven points. So in terms of points, the, the individual meets that condition. Okay, 
meets that condition the uh doesn't the ait it doesn't correspond lyit so that fails in that one but also meets that the eight years condition less than eight years or sorry it should, it should be more than eight years so i may have entered that incorrectly at the start i didn't know it's, it's there's eight years so it doesn't meet the so meets the leave insert points condition doesn't meet any of the other two but doesn't need to once that uh, candidate meets the any one of the three conditions you get the three thousand so likewise as we look down here down the list we see the next few candidates all meet the uh the what i call it the the leave insert points condition some of them also meet the lyit condition and uh one or two of them meet the uh, years experience condition so anyway we'll see we'll fill down and see what happens but as usual there's something wrong and the, the reason is that there's, there's strange things appearing is because i haven't put absolute cell addresses uh for my h8 and h9 cells in, in other words in every version of the formula we need to have the formula ending with h8 and h9 there it ends with h9 and h10 and as we go down further and further it starts getting further and further away from h9 and h10 there it's h15 and h16 so i need to undo the the replication and i'll go back now in, and edit the formula so i'll click down here in the cell actually and edit the formula and i'll just press f4 to put dollar signs around the uh, h and the h to make it a completely absolute cell address and the same will be done with h9 f4 again one more time and that's also an absolute cell address so now we can fill it down so we'll just fill it down for seven or eight of them for the moment and see what happens so everyone and uh, the first few gets 3,000. The first cases of someone who doesn't get 3,000 are those two here for 5,000. So let's look at the scenario that applies to these three individuals. And they don't meet the points condition, they don't meet the college condition, and they don't meet the years experience condition. So they meet none of the three conditions. So that's why that individual gets the 5,000 of a um, Christmas bonus. And the same then applies to the next individual much the same situation and further on down there's another one here that doesn't meet um, any of the three conditions whereas on the other hand this individual here Union Muse is less than 400 points so that's why he qualifies and gets the 3000 of a bonus so we'll fill down for the remaining cells replicate the formula so again in excel what we're doing is we're using excel's absolute and relative cell addresses to enter one formula so the only formula we've entered here actually is the is the first one the rest of them are just replications of it so we have the 3000 in here and then we filled it down and the other uh, feature we're using is we're using the uh, absolute and relative cell addresses so that the if the user decides that the bonuses will change to 6,000 and 7,000. Our spreadsheet will automatically recalculate that. So by virtue of having the values for the Christmas bonus just stored once in the spreadsheet, then any formula that uses those values automatically uh, adjusts. So it's another one of the reasons why spreadsheets are so flexible, especially if you use cell references in your formula. So I'll just revert back here and make my 6,000 back as a 3,000. And make the other value of 5,000. So again, the, what we're doing here is that the evaluation is different to the other cases where we had if and. So in an if and if statement, you had to meet all three conditions. In an if or if statement, as long as you meet any one of the three conditions, you guess the, the what, what happens when it's the, the true condition is the one that's followed or the true the true outcome is the one that's followed as opposed to the false uh, scenario so that's a quick look at if or um the if or version of if statements that's the end of the clip